Welcome to the Post Rock Scenic Byway. Along the byway, you will see an important regional slice of Kansas history and culture. Pioneer settlers discovered a unique limestone formation beneath the rolling prairie landscape, utilizing the stone as a building material on the treeless plain. This is a story of invention and innovation, as seen along the historic route between the communities of Wilson and Lucas in north central Kansas. We're standing here in uh in a stone quarry. This layer of stone is the uh, top layer of the Greenhorn limestone. It is uh, the layer of stone that the early day settlers discovered outcropping outside, out, of the, uh, out of the hills and determined it was a good material to build houses. And then they discovered that it made a, a good post for, for fences. Being as this was an area that was um, didn't have many trees at all. Only the trees that you had in this area at that time was in the in the valleys. Post rock limestone, also called greenhorn, was used in the building of civic structures, homesteads, elaborate farmsteads, and settlements throughout the region. Some structures are no longer visible. Victims of time and neglect, replacement, or civil engineering projects that flooded a part of the Saline River Valley to create Wilson Lake. However, some structures survive unchanged. Along the byway, the historic Novak Farm is just such an example. Building commenced in 1885, and it still functions today as a farmstead and quarry known as Stone Cottage Farm. I understand that they wrote back to their relatives and said, we found this stone outcropping out of the hills here in the middle of Kansas. It's workable. Bring your tools. And they came and they began to build. Somebody over by Bunker Hill got the bright idea of um, standing up a, a stone post and fasten the wire to that. And that idea took off. They were already building homes with it, but they never thought about making fence posts. I was told one time that a 500 pound stone post that could be quarried out would be bought for 50 cents. And uh, the first the stones were being sold quite cheap until they got up to about a dollar. And then people decided that was too much to pay for a rock, so then they started using wooden posts and I suppose anything that they could find, but it's still known as post rock country, so I think that the stone posts are one of the significant things about this particular part of Kansas. From the seven buildings that were constructed on the land, all this stone came from a quarry about, I'd say a half mile from the dwellings. Most of the other houses that were built of limestone came from that quarry. I was always sort of amazed at the nice arch door that went to the north. That was a lot of work to yeah, put in just built. building a barn. And they also built a, a second story to the barn to keep the hay for the cattle. And I was told that a lot of barn dances were held up there. Post rock limestone is the foundation of the area, and local masons still utilize traditional techniques in excavating and harvesting the building material. Duane Veneta is one such stone worker, keeping this regional tradition alive through demonstrations and constructions. This tool is an original bracing bit, and this this bit was made by a blacksmith. It was the, the uh, the rod was hammered flat and then twisted. This is the original way that they first started doing it. You know, a lot of the stone posts maybe was probably made with a bit like this. They bored it out by hand. Some of the old guys talk about they got a callus on their chest from leaning on this thing. See the line? I drew there. This is why the 
are early day settlers and frontiers or farmers and ranchers, they use the feathers and wedges. Lucas, at the north end of the Post Rock Scenic Byway, is home to a turn of the century folk art environment, the Garden of Eden. Civil War veteran and populist S.P. Dinsmore utilized the limestone in a distinctively non traditional way. Unusually long limestone logs were quarried under his direction and used in the construction of a stone log cabin in 1905. From this base, he created a limestone log mausoleum and then moved on to create numerous three-story concrete structures illustrating culture of the early 1900s. An overview of limestone construction and embellishment can be found at the Post Rock Limestone Courtyard, located at the Grassroots Art Center in downtown Lucas. Through constructed reproductions of the finest examples of limestone work, viewers can see the craftsmanship integrated into civic, religious, rural, and urban structures. Elaborate details reflect the time and care taken by early stonemasons, creating a rich cultural identity through the use of native material. Evidence of the 1865 Butterfield Overland Dispatch Trail can be found in Post Rock Limestone Markers in the community of Wilson, establishing one of the settlement paths. Czechoslovakian immigrant stone workers settled the area and utilized the limestone in both functional and decorative applications. During the Depression, the limestone again provided work and material for Works Progress Administration structures. Some structures of note in the Wilson community include the Opera House, the Circular Limestone Jail, and the newly restored Midland Hotel. The limestone legacy continues today on the Post Rock Scenic Byway, an 18-mile route along K-232 through the smoky hills of Ellsworth, Lincoln, and Russell counties. Travel the byway and catch a glimpse of history told through this buff-colored native stone that helped shape the culture of a region.